Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on the topic symmetry. Actually, the meaning of symmetry is this same is same and metry means measurement. If in case we have a specific object like a triangle or we can have an alphabet like A. Now, if we talk a about a triangle, there can be various kind of triangle as we have already studied. It can be scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, and equilateral triangle. So, if we, I talk about a scalene triangle where all the three sides are different, and I want to mark a line in between, so this line will not divide. If it will divide this triangle into two parts, but they are not having the same measurements. When I am talking about symmetry, that means the same measurements on both the sides. So, scaling triangle does not have a symmetry. Why? If we talk about a equilateral triangle, or if I talk about a an isosceles triangle, then if we mark a line in between, then this vertical line will divide this triangle into two equal halves where the measurements of both the sides are equal. If we divide it into two equal halves, then we can say the length of AB and the length of AC are same and they are mirror image of each other while the length of BD will equal to the length of DC or the mirror image of BD will be the mirror image of DC. Same way if we talk about isosceles triangle, this will be also symmetrical in the vertical axis. This is known as the vertical axis. So if I take a symmetry on the vertical axis, it is symmetrical. But if I put a line horizontally, then this triangle is not symmetrical. If I talk about a, an alphabet A, then we can directly say that if I put a line across horizontally, then this is not the mirror image of these two lines. But if I put a line vertically, then this part and this part are mirror images to each other and this means they are symmetrical. So A is symmetrical vertically. Here the triangle is symmetrical vertically. Here again the triangle is symmetrical vertically. Now we can take another alphabet like H. If I divide this H into two equal halves, with a vertical line, then we can say that alphabet H is symmetrical on the vertical line. If we draw a line which is horizontal, then also this H will be symmetrical on both the sides. So H is symmetrically, we can say this is having a twin symmetry on the vertical side as well and on the horizontal side as well. If we look at the H again, and we instead of this as a straight line, if we just tilt this line. Now, this edge is not symmetrical, neither it is symmetrical on the vertical axis nor it is symmetrical on the horizontal axis. But if I make edge like this, then on the horizontal axis, uh, vertical axis, it is symmetrical, but on the horizontal axis, it is also symmetrical. So, if in case we are having a uh, value which are same on both the sides, are symmetrical, otherwise, they are non symmetrical. If we look at the plants and animals, we can say all animals are symmetrical in their nature. Like if we talk about our cell, then if in case we divide our cell in this way vertically, so we are symmetrical. But if we divide our cell horizontally, then we are not symmetrical. All the animals are symmetrical, while all the plants are non-symmetrical because they do not grow in the same shape or size in both the ends. So we can look at the symmetry in nearby area in our houses. Symmetry is very very important because of two reasons. One is when we look on something aesthetically then it looks better. Same way if in case you look at the houses and you put a tube at one of the corners then it will look odd. But if you put a tube in between the 
whole of the wall, then it will be looking symmetrical or better. If we take the example of a fan and we put a fan on one of the corner of a uh, room, then it is not looking like to be a symmetrical, but if in case we put it in between, this is symmetrical. So we have to talk about symmetrical aspect for aesthetic reason. On the other hand, when we look at the figures or we talk about geometrical figures, then also we talk about symmetry. As an equilateral triangle is symmetrical triangle from all the vertices. If in case we see through all the vertices, it is symmetrical and this is known as a term regular. If we look at the four sided figure and suppose it's a quadrilateral like this. So this does not have a symmetry in itself. So we cannot say that it is a regular figure. But if we look at a square which is symmetrical through the vertical axis, through the horizontal axis as well as which is symmetrical through the uh, edges then this square which is symmetrical from all the sides is known as a regular figure. So here all the sides of a square as well as all the angles of a square are all same. Here also all the sides are same, all the angles are same. If we look at a figure which is having six sides, so we can have two different types of figures in six sides where in one figure the length of the sides are different and definitely when the length of the sides are different then their angles must also be different because we already discussed that the larger side has a larger angle opposite to it. While in this case all the sides are same as well as all the angles are same so this is known as a hexagon or having six sides but this is also known as a regular hexagon. So we talk about the term regular here so we can say that all the figures which are symmetrical figures from all the axes are also known as regular figures. We can talk about, we can see the figures which are symmetrical in our nearby areas so that we will understand the meaning of symmetry. Thank you.